how to rotoscope using the app Flip Equip. Rotoscoping is a creative tool that animators use in order to trace the movements um, from video and reuse it in their own uh, creative animation. So first you open up the app Flip a Clip. Um, then you're going to need to, once you've opened the app, you're going to need to create a new project. Um, it's not going to let you create the project unless you name it. So you give the project a name. And then you're going to um, create two layers. So you go to the bottom and you need to create a second layer. Um, once you've created the, the, move to the bottom layer and you can import from your camera roll. So I imported a video of a squirrel eating garbage. So I found that in my camera roll and I... Um, clicked on it and you have to allow access if it asks you to allow access to your camera roll you say yes um, and you import it and then make sure once you've imported it um, that you're just going to take a tiny clip of it what you want to do is you want to pick a clip um, that contains repetitive action you don't want to have to trace every single frame you want something that can loop so I just took a very short section of the video um, that contain the repetitive action of his hands moving up and down, his body kind of bouncing up and down. And then I made sure that I was on the top layer when I began tracing. You do not want to accidentally mess up and start tracing in the same layer as the, the video because you're going to delete the video later. Um, you cannot keep the original video in your final animation. You're really only using it for reference. Um, so you use your two fingers and you zoom in really close on the details so you can just use your finger to trace. Um, since it's a telephone app, um, a lot of people find drawing with their finger on the telephone to be frustrating at first, but just zooming in very, very close will enable you to have a lot more control. Um, the other thing that you should do is try and just use very simple shapes and lines, um, you know, and gestures to trace, not not to try and trace every single detail. You're trying to get the overall shape of the animal, not the, um, not every single little detail. Um, I tried to close my lines. It's just, if you want to use the paint bucket tool in order to color large areas, um, it won't work unless the lines are closed off. Um, so here I am just zooming in and tracing the details, um, you know, just using two fingers with my, to um, with my uh, hand on the screen of my phone um, to zoom in so that I can um, color precise uh, outline precisely and then you're what you're gonna do um, is you're gonna do that for each frame in my case it was about a three second video and there were about uh, 45 frames so you don't it ultimately ended up being um, I didn't pick a very high frame rate I only picked 12 frames per second so three seconds is like 36 frames. I think mine was maybe uh, a little more than three seconds. Um, but you have to be able to hide or delete the bottom video when you're done. So just at, don't mess up and accidentally draw on the original video. Make sure you're drawing on a different layer. Um, otherwise, you'll have to do the whole thing again. Now, there's a couple of things you can do when you're done. Um, one of the things you can do is you can, after you've hidden that bottom layer, is you can look at your video to preview it. And then if you find that there's anything you want to change, you can look at it in the frame view, which will give you the frame by frame, um, you know, laid out almost like a grid. Um, and that's good if you made any mistakes. For instance, I didn't want to keep that first frame where I had added an acorn and I didn't want to keep the last frame because it was blank. So I changed it to the frame view when I was able to select specific frames and delete them. So once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and I can export my video. And there's several different ways to export it. <coughs> um, initially, I exported it as an MP4, which is a video. But you can also actually export the frames.
um, it'll give you um, an option when you export to export a PNG sequence. And I'll show you that in a minute. So I've deleted the first frame and I've deleted the last frame. I click remove. I go back. I preview the video and now I'm going to export it as an MP4. So that's how the video looks. And that's what it kind of reminded me of playing basketball. So um, I exported the MP4 just to have the little video clip um, to show my progress. And then I was interested in actually uh, exporting the individual frames as well. Um, sometimes you want to do that, sometimes you don't. Um, in this case, I was actually interested in, in, in doing that. So you can actually go back and you can, um, it'll create movie and then it'll ask the format and the format is um instead of instead of picking mp4 you can um you can pick oh so here i i could actually um get the size that i wanted so the size that i actually wanted was um for a vimeo that's the larger hd size so it's it's exporting the video now and here now I'm going to show you how to export the frames. You're going to get to the same point where you're going to click Make Movie. You click on that, and then it's going to ask you what format you want the movie to be in. So the default is an MP4, which is obviously a video file. But you can choose instead of mp4 to actually export individual frames and then you can uh, upload them to it'll ask you if, to, if, if you want to export a png sequence and then um, you're going to have to put them in your google drive it won't let you for some reason download all those frames to your camera roll and when it does put them in your google drive it'll zip them um, so that's kind of annoying but uh you can always unzip them from your uh, from your laptop. You can see some of those frames in my camera roll. You can also see the video. Um, the nice thing about having those individual frames exported is that you can use them with other applications. Um, in addition to creating an animation, which you can do using the different layers and flip a clip, you um, also would be able to use them in book illustrations or any other sort of digital artwork.